So this is a video, a short video, for Zana and Katie Davis on Twitter, just talking about Scrivener and how it works with EndNote. So, I'm going to fire up Scrivener. Now I have a longer version video that I'll upload. It goes through all the details of how I do all of this stuff. This is purely looking at EndNote citations. I have two documents, one's a template, one is my thesis for my degree. So I will just go back into the right page there. Okay, there is my thesis, there's my draft. Now I'm working on the research methodology section, and let's say I'm working on the research instruments and strategy element, which is what I'm doing there. Now, that bit there needs to be deleted, that's a relic of the last video, so it's gone now. Now let's say I wanted to actually talk about deep implications, validity of the study's results. So I know there's an author called Rini who has something to do with that. Inside Scrivener, command Y, up comes my EndNote. So EndNote wasn't open already, it's fired it up. I can go searching for Rooney. There is Rooney. Okay, so that's the citation. I command copy, command C. Easiest thing to do now is command H to hide it. I'm back to my document. Um, in examining the validity of best um, practice method in statistical and textual analysis, Rooney and command option, sorry, shift command option V, Rooney says we should be grateful to our alien overlords. Now, my typo, bang. Now, first things first, that is what the citations that's been brought in, that's the reference. It's really good having the code here because having the code, it can't get corrupted in any way. At the very worst, I know that it's Rooney, I know that it's 2005, it's number 664 in my EndNote database, which was here, um, and I've modified EndNote so that I can see which reference it is. Hide that again. Um, but if I wanted to um, use Word, it uses field codes and that its own embedded library, that can get mucked up. Don't like it. It's mucked up in me before, you really end up having to fiddle a lot. This doesn't have that problem. Now, because I've got Rooney there, I would probably want to be able to modify my citations. So, one way to do that is, for example, uh, I think it's that way. For example, Rooney. So, that slash tells it to leave whatever's before that. That's going to go at the beginning. Okay? And I can say that I want to put a particular page in. So, it's page 208. So, that's going to get formatted up in that way when we take a look at um, uh, the overall compilation process. Now, I'm going to change that reference. I'm going to go back into here. I'm going to go to another author that I know talks in a similar area. So, it's Ken Edwards' paper. It's Command Y from Scrivener. Command C once I've found my document. Command H to hide it and paste it in. And I will just say Pen Edwards. And I don't want the author, so I delete the author name, leave the comma, leave the rest of it there. That will get replaced by EndNote after I compile out of Scrivener. Now, I've shown you there the citation, how we got it in there, everything inside the curly brackets, the braces, we're all good. Um, lots more stuff to talk about in Scrivener, but. I've got another video that talks about Scrivener and Evernote and EndNote, and I'll upload that um, to wherever it will host it. It might be too big for YouTube. This is meant to be very short. I can now compile Scrivener. Go to Scrivener. Compile. Okay, I know that's all set to how I want it to be there, the what's I want included. Rich text format. EndNote will need to format the document as a rich text form document, so I've got to save it as rich text. And on the open rich text format end mode. Compile. Um, video draft document, so give it a file name, set, export it. It does its thing. Okay, I now have a rich text format document. Command Y to call up EndNote. Rules format the paper. And I'm going to go to the same directory. 
tell it that I've got a rich text format. Now I've got some mucked up references in this document. So it's got 9, it couldn't find 214. So I'll go back to Scrivener and edit those, resave it, fix it up. Okay, that's all good. I'm going to format it. It's going to complain, but that's okay. We'll continue. We'll save it to the same place. And it's done that. So the document has now had the braces replaced and it's added references to the beginning. Let's take a look over here as to what that looks like. I'll get rid of that one because I know that's a different document. We'll open this one up. Here's the rich text format that came. Oops, we'll open it up in Word. One 10,000 word thesis draft. Okay, now I use comments extensively, but I'm, I've taken that out of Scrivener, the comments are on Scrivener. I want to send this to my supervisor. He doesn't need to see where I'm complaining about him, so we'll just go into here and we will delete all the comments in the document. They're all gone. Okay, now the bit about the aliens, let's have a look at that. Okay. That Pen Edwards reference has been updated, and the, for example, really 2005 page 208, that's been updated as well. Just take us back to Scrivener so you can see what that looked like originally. So that got replaced, and that got replaced. The Happy Campus, back here. What did it do at the bottom? Okay, that's the reference list. Now, it puts it at the very end. In a thesis, your references come before your appendices. And so, this is just normal text, no field codes, no mucking around, nothing to corrupt. Go all the way to the bottom of the jar. Cut from there. Paste that into my references. Because you don't want to give any more cognitive load to your thesis supervisor than you have to. So that's our references, they're all there. And that is how EndNote works with Scrivener. That's the best way that I've found so far. Go back to Scrivener, you call up EndNote, you find the document that you want. Oops. Control C or Command C, Command Hide. Shift Option Command B to paste it in. There's your citation. Couldn't get much easier than that. Save it, compile it to format it. So to format it, go back to EndNote, click the paper, format, and you're fine. Any comments? Please feel free to leave them. Bye.